Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Wayne Jensen, the creator of the channel, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Excel 2021 Chapter 3 Guided Project 3-3. So we'll begin by downloading the start file. Just click on the start file link there. And once that's open or downloaded, we'll open it. And then we're going to click on the enable editing button. And then we're on to number step number two. For step two, we're going to create a pie chart object. So we want to select the revenue by department worksheet. And then we're going to uh, select cells A4 through F4. And then hold the control key down and select cells A13 through F13. And that's how you select a non-adjacent uh, range. So then we're going to go to the insert pie chart. So insert the pie chart, and we're going to select the 3D pie chart. And then we're going to go to, or we're going to click the more button. First, we need to select the chart and then click on the chart design tab and then click the more button here and select style number three. And then we're on to step number four. For step four, we're going to point uh, to the chart object border to display the, the move pointer. The move pointer is that quad pointer that appears when you uh, point to the uh, border and then hold your but mouse button down. And then we can drag it over to H4, cell H4, and and then um, point to the bottom right hand corner, the selection handle, and then drag that over to Q19, like that. And then um, we're going to, for step five, we're going to explode a, explode a pie slice. So we're going to double click the pie to open the format data series task pane. So just click anywhere, double click anywhere on the pie chart itself, the middle, the actual pie chart, and then that'll open up that format data series. And then we're going to click the San Diego slice, and the San Diego slice is, well, we can't really see it. Oh, if I drag it over this way. Okay, so we're going to select the San Diego slice, which is going to be the purple slice. And now we can see that only that purple slice is selected. And uh, then we're going to click the series options button in the format painter. Okay, and then we're going to set the pie explosion percentage to 10%. So increase this to 10%. And then uh, close the task pane. And we can see that the San Diego slice is moved out away from the pie chart. And then deselect the San Diego slice by just clicking anywhere outside of that slice. Okay, for step six, we're going to click the chart elements quick button and click the data labels arrow to open its submenu and choose more options. So over here, we're gonna click on that arrow to the right of the data labels. And then we're gonna select the category name or we need to select more options. And then we're going to select the category name box right here. And then we're going to confirm that the percentage and show leader lines boxes are checked, which they are. And then click the separator drop down list and choose space. And then we're going to click the fill in line button, which is this button that looks like a paint, uh, paint bucket. And just click on that and then expand the fill section there and select no fill and that removes the black background box for each label and then close the task pane and then um, we're going to delete to step seven delete the legend and recolor the and position the data labels so select the legend so just click on the legend there and then confirm your selection in the chart elements drop down list so that's on the format tab so click on the Format tab, and over here on the Current Selection section, um, you can see it should say uh, that it has the legend selected, which it does. See, legend in this, in this uh, window right there. Okay, so then uh, it says Press Delete to remove the legend. So just hit the Delete key. I guess I have to make sure. That it's selected and then click the delete key. I think it was because I had my focus on that window there. I can't put the delete, push the delete button when it's on that 
Okay, so then we're going to click the chart elements drop down list and uh, select the series golf data labels. So, right here, series golf. Oh, we want the series golf data labels, excuse me. We want the one right below it. And then we're going to click the text fill button, which is in the format tab, Word, Start, Word Art Styles group. So I believe it's this one here. Yeah, that's the text fill. And then we we'll select the um, black text one, which is the second column here. Okay. And then uh, for step uh, 7F, it says click as many times as needed to select only the San Diego data label. So we want to only select the San Diego data label. So I had to click a couple of times, I guess. Just You're just clicking on the San Diego data label. And then it says point to uh, display a movie po move pointer and drag the label as in figure 3-81. So we'll just click on it until it, it, uh, you know, it displays that quad arrow, which is the uh, move pointer. And then we want to move it over this area here. And then it says to select each data label and position as it is shown in figure 3-81. So we're going to do the St. Louis one next. And when you get that four, that quad arrow, drag it up over in this area here. And for Atlanta, drag it up over here. Just trying to make it as close as it shows in the figure there. Yeah, maybe move this down a little bit. And for Boston, drag that over there. I guess it goes up a little bit. And maybe a little bit more because it's got like a bend in it. Anyway, I don't think it has to be exactly right, but then we're going to drag this one down here in this area. Maybe a little bit further to the right. And if you, yeah. A little more to the right, I guess. There we go. Okay. And then just click a worksheet cell. So anywhere outside the chart. So it deselects the chart. And then for step eight, we're going to create a clustered bar chart object to simulate a funnel chart. So we're going to select cells A22 through uh, B26. And then we're going to click the quick analysis button and choose charts. So here's the quick analysis button, and we're going to choose charts. And then we're going to click the clustered bar in the list, and that will create a clustered bar chart for the data that's in that A22 through B26. And then for step nine, we're going to position in the clustered bar chart. So we're going to point to the object border until it becomes that move pointer. There we go. And then we're going to drag it uh, so its top left corner is that cell C21. So drag it over to uh, C21. OK. And then we're going to point to the bottom selection handle to display the resize arrow and drag it to L40. So we want this bottom part to be on L40. So there's L row 40. And then we're on to step number 10 we're going to apply a chart style. So confirm that the bar chart object is selected, which it is, because we have these contextual menus up here. And then we're going to select style three after we um, expand the quick styles section here. And we're going to choose style three. And then we're on step number 11. We're going to format data labels and edit the ch chart title. So select one of the data labels in any bar, the dollar amount, and change the font size to 16. So any of those like that. And change the font size to 16, which I guess we have to do that on the Home tab. So change this to 16. There we go. And then select the Chart Title box. So select the Chart Title box. And it says triple click to select all the placeholder text. So yeah, if you triple click, you have to do that kind of rapid succession to select that chart title. And uh, it says, or click once and then press Control A. Okay, so then we're going to type total sales by city. 
as the title. And then we're on to step number 12. We're going to remove the horizontal axis, reverse the category order, and apply a special effect. So click the Chart Elements drop-down list, which is on the Format tab, and it's in the Current Selection group. And we're going to choose the Horizontal Value Axis. And then we're going to press Delete to remove the values. So press the Delete key. And so just to show you what that did, we have these horizontal values selected down at the bottom. So then we're going to delete those. So press the Delete key. And then on, on the drop-down list, we're going to select Series 1. So select Series 1. And now it shows Series 1 is selected. And then we're going to click the Shape Effects button in the Format tab, Shape Styles group. So it's up here. Select that and go to the Shadow. And we're going to select in the Outer group here. We're going to select the Offset bottom right. And then we're going to click the Chart Elements drop-down list again. And this time we're going to choose the Vertical Category Axis. And um, we're going to click the Format Selection button. So it's on the Format tab in the Current Selection group. Yeah, so Format Selection right here. And then we're going to click the Axis Options button and uh, in the Axis group, which is already opened. So we just want to make sure this is expanded. If it's like this, you want to make sure it's opened up like this. And then select the categories in reverse order right here. And then it shows, if we deselect that, you can see what it does. So right now it's St. Louis there on the left-hand column. Okay, so it's just showing the, you know, where's, if you uncheck that, St. Louis is at the top. But once we so, uh, select that categories in reverse order, then it shows Boston at the top. And it'll show the highest one at the, top, at the top and the lowest at the bottom. Okay, and then for step 13, we're gonna add alt text to a chart for increased accessibility. So right click the uh, border of the bar chart and select edit alt text. So edit alt text. I guess it's view alt text. Maybe these instructions are outdated or something. So um, then we're going to click on the entry box to uh, put our insertion point there. And then we're going to type um, this bar. I'm just going to copy and paste what's in the instructions here. So we're going to put in, this is a bar chart which displays totals in descending order. You can select an individual data point to apply a fill color. And it says include the period. So it looked like I had an extra space at the end there, so I just deleted that. And then close the alt text pane and select cell A1. So I think we can probably close this too and select cell A1. And then we're going to insert spark lines for step 14. So we're going to click the first period worksheet tab. And we're going to select cells B19 through E19. So B19 through E19. like that, and click the line spark line button, which is on the insert tab in the spark lines group, right here, the line. And then um, we're gonna select cell I-19 in the location range. So right here, we wanna select cell I-19, right here, and then click okay. And that places a single spark line for the labels, okay. And then um, for 15, we're going to format the spark lines. So click the Format button on the Home tab, Cells group. OK. Home tab in the Cells group, click Format. And then we're going to uh, change the row height to 35. And that's for that cell that we're doing this. And then we're going to set the column width to 40. I'll click on the format then again click column width and put 40 and and then it says to select the markers box in the show group in the spark lines tab so spark line tab click on the marker box here markers and that'll show markers on the spark line and then click the more button which is in the spark line tab 
in the uh, style group. So click the more button here. And we're going to choose the brown sparkline style accent six, which is the first row, last column. So for first row, last column, should say brown sparkline style accent six, darker 50%. So select that. And then it says apply outside borders to cell I-19. So we're going to go to the home tab and in the border pull down here, select outside borders. And then uh, click row four heading and set the row height to 35. So select this row four heading and set the row height to 35. So click on the format button, click row height and put 35 and OK. And then uh, click cell A1 and set the page orientation to landscape. So to do that, we go to the page layout and click on the orientation button and change it to landscape. So make sure landscape is selected there. And then we're ready to save and close our workbook. So click on the save button and close it. And then we'll upload our file. Okay, we saved and, we're, and closed our workbook. We're ready to upload it. So click on the upload button. And it's going to be the one that I did today, which is Wayne Jensen Blue Lake. Dash 03. Of course, it'll have your first and last name instead of mine. And click open and then click yes, submit the file. And if we did everything right, we get 100%. Cross your fingers. All right, that's the result we like to see. Okay, I hope that helped you out. If it did, please click on the like button or leave a comment letting me know what score you got. I just like to get that kind of feedback. Let me know if you thought it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day.